Someone once said, while you're walking on a street, stop and look around. Vantage points from uncommon corners reveal unnoticed things only visible when looking from ignored angles. Sarah and I were in Colonial Williamsburg, and like we always do, we made our way over to the Duke of Gloucester Street for some much needed outdoor exploration together. It's what we love to do when we're in town. We're here often. I'd mentioned to her, rather than do our normal walk up and down Dog Street, why don't we see what we can stumble upon in the backyards here? With all their intricate gardens, the outbuildings which bear their steeply pitched roofs. Narrow and hidden alleys that lead you to the areas only seen off the historic center cut pathway. Exploring these areas together is magical. The restoration that Williamsburg has done here is superb, and it's easy to tell it was done by the care of those who truly love the history here. It reveals itself so vividly. Sarah will tell you, I've always loved a good alleyway. Especially ones that involve a rustic, weathered, and worn look. Brick incorporated into the walkway here gives this one just the perfect touch between the colonial homes and buildings on either side of it. With so many backyard entry points strung along the main street here, my curiosity got the best of me, as it always does on our many visits to Colonial Williamsburg each year.
Here, each historical location often hides a quaint secret area living behind its 18th century architecture. Something on this trip that we just enjoyed discovering throughout the day, stalling for a few moments at each stop to allow ourselves ample time to take in all the beauty that was being unveiled to us. And there was plenty of it. As we continued exploring, we noticed a set of stairs behind a gate that seemed to lead to a nice little picturesque hidden hideaway, gently tucked amongst the series of surrounding colonial homes. Trickling Creek and a few small timber garden bridge overpasses were also found in the backyard. Being in Colonial Williamsburg together, and finally uncovering some of the areas here not as often seen by visitors, made this trip feel more complete. Now we understood even more about the vast acres of land that make up the old capital here. And there's no better way to witness it, to get outside, open our eyes, and let its beauty shine out.